So hello everybody, this is Mandy, so it's time for another parkour video and in today's parkour video I'm going to show you how you can add a blank row after each subcategory on a table. And you're probably wondering why would I want to do that? Well, for example, in Excel, sometimes you want to present the data in a table, not in a pivot table, and to be able to visualize it better, you might want to have a blank row in between. I know it's not the best practice in the world, but for presentation it works. And perhaps the same in Power BI, right? That you want to have a separate value there without creating a matrix. Let's get started. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to do. I have a table, month, product, and sales, and I want to have a blank column after each month. So one in January, one after February, one after March. So how do we do it? We go to transform group by, and then we're going to group by month, but we want to have all the columns in there. So you'll see here that I have the January columns, the February columns, and the March columns. And we want to add to those little tables one black row. I'll show you before how to create, add rows to a table without actually creating a new column. We're going to use that technique here. Sorry. What we're going to do is actually modify this table group a little bit. So we're going to do that for each row of this table. What we want to do is table insert rows. And then we want to have table insert rows works like this. You fit the table and then you say where in that table you want to have the, to insert the row. In this case, we want to have it at the end. So we're going to do a table row count. And that will give us the last, you know, the last value. So for example, in here it will be three. So it will put it on row three. And then we're going to uh, modify this. This is the hard part, actually, just because of the syntax. <laughs> so this is a list for month. We want to have empty value. For product, we want to have empty value. And for sales, we want to have empty value there and then we close the record so we close the list then we need to close the insert rows we need to close that list and that list and that and we cross our fingers and it looks like it worked yay and there we have you see the blank rows so the only thing that you need to do now is just expand and then you have your blank rows you can get rid of the first one and voila, there you have blank rows after each subcategory in just one step. Okay, enjoy your holidays if you're on holidays. I hopefully will see you again on Wednesday. Again, it's summer, so I don't know if I will manage to do all the videos. But either way, enjoy your holidays and I'll hopefully see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.